Hi, in this video example, I'm going to show you how you can take a picture of your favorite food product and add it to your shopping list. I'm going to shop at ShopRite and I'm going to stock up on coffee and I'm going to buy one bottle of creamer. So I'm going to tap on ShopRite. I hit it twice. I'm going to enter into the top field, coffee. See how coffee popped up? I'm going to tap on, if I do a, there you go. There was a little delay there. A lot of choices come up, but I just want coffee and I have to specify in the notes what kind of coffee I want. So I'm going to tap on the plus sign add custom item and I want five so I'm gonna I'm gonna be patient I'm not going to click away super fast you have to give it a moment and you see in the green circle at the bottom right it says five I'm going to tap it and what it is what it requests add note well the shopper needs to know what kind of coffee I want and I want chalk of nuts and because they're on sale I know it's 24 ounces don't have to write that because the picture will say a lot however I'm doing that do you see on the left hand side of the word coffee it says custom I'm going to tap it and what that's going to allow me to do is to take a picture of the product See the notes already in the note area. Category, let me see this. Oh, I guess um, dairy, coffee and sweeteners. Yeah, it's coffee. Apply. Oh, cool, that's great. I'm not gonna worry about the price because every market's different. Prices range, you know. You see the camera image to the right? I'm going to tap it. And then I'm going to tap take photo. And I'm going to do this. I got the can laying just right because I want them to see the ounces here. And exactly, I, I want medium. I'm not overly picky, but you can be that you can be that specific. That's the point. Take a picture of it. Use photo. Yes. Tap on the bottom, update item. This is so cool. Now it does take a moment to, I'm gonna go near my window because I live in a building. It takes like 30 seconds for the picture to be up. But the point of doing this is, you don't have to type everything in all the time. Um, if you like to create a shopping list from scratch, you don't have to, you can save a shopping list. So you could just say, buy again. I'm sorry this takes a moment. Oh, I tapped the top. Oh, there it goes. There you go. I tapped the top to help the app along. Hey, it worked. That's great. And can you, you see where you can have saved items? Buy again. Yeah, let me tap it. Saved items. You don't have any saved items. View main menu. Save item for later. You see that on the bottom? Save item for later. And that should do it with that. I'm going to erase that. Then I'm going to do one more. I'm going to do coffee creamer. And I'm going to give it a moment. I'm sorry. Hit return, I guess. Because more options populate. There's a little bit of a delay. I'm going to tap on bottled coffee creamer, flavored, 32 ounces. Please indicate flavor or notes. I only want one because that'll last me at least the month. And I'm going to tap on the green circle that says two. I saved that coffee for later. I see how that, oh, it's still on my, it's still on my coffee list. Coffee creamer, something went wrong. It's catching up, the app's catching up, and 
I live in an apartment building. Okay, I'm facing the window now. I'm going to tap the note and I'm going to say international delight hazelnut and I think that's 32 ounces update now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap on that word custom on the left hand side of the word coffee and this will open up again and it will allow me to take a picture of the exact item that I want. I'm not going to include the price because every area has different prices. See where it says remove? That's really a picture of a camera should be there. There's a little bit of a delay, but I'm gonna tap it. Hey, it worked, I know it's there. Take photo. And I'm gonna take photo. And you can even see the answers on the bottom. Use photo. I'm going to face my window again. Oh, I could either save it for later or update item. Update item. Oh, I see what I did. I added it for later. There are a lot more choices than I thought. That's why the coffee's not there. Because I said saved items. I'm going to tap on saved items. Saved for later. What happens if I tap it? Move item to list. You see at the bottom, move item to list. So even if you add items, but you don't want them at every shopping trip, you don't have to go through this process again. You could save it for later. So you just tap. You know, once it's just like anything else. Once you start getting used to an app that you like, it becomes, you know, you become much faster at it and it's easier to place an order. Excellent. See, I know I'm a personal shopper, but I'm shopping for myself to learn it from both ends because I am someone who wants to build a very successful small business in my area, which is Long Island, Nassau County. If you're listening to this, you can visit my dumpling profile link in the description below if you would like to hire me and learn more about me, see what I'm about, read what I'm about. And... You know, I, I want to learn it from both ends because you never know. I might be a customer too and hire someone someday. I could be laid up. Maybe I can't leave my home. Maybe I'm callless. You just don't know. Um, I'm a caregiver sometimes. Maybe I can't leave for a few days. I need, I need groceries. Well, let me go hire a dumpling shopper. And that's, this is why I want to learn it from both ends. I hope you found the video interesting. This is so cool. I'm so happy I'm learning how to use it better. And please visit the link in the description below if you live in Long Island, Nassau County, and hire me as your personal shopper. Have a good one. Bye, everybody.